Hi, good day to all. This is Kelvin here. Welcome to today's idea of today video where I'll be sharing with you the risk of a minor drop for gold. So before we start, let's take a look at the disclaimer slides first. All right. So now let's take you through the gold chart. All right. So what you can see over here is the short term four hour gold chart, which is the cash market as uh, depicted in our platform. So if you recall that three weeks ago, we did have a chart of the week that featured uh, gold, where we expect a rally of the 21st of July low area to actually uh, come towards this uh, 1810 resistance level, which is more or less has been met uh, on last week uh, on 10th of August, where it actually printed a high of 1808. So what's interesting over here is uh, this uh, key inflection point or resistance level at 1810, has been accompanied by a deteriorating upside momentum. Okay, what do I mean by that? So if you could take a look at the four hour RSI, which is a gauge of momentum, since it's a uh, price action from 2nd of August all the way up to 10th of August, it has been shaping higher height. But the RSI has started to shape a lower height, indicating that upside uh, momentum has started to deteriorate. And what's interesting over here in the price action seen on last Friday has actually led to a bearish breakdown on the momentum indicator, which is this uh, key uh, corresponding support at around the 47% level, indicating to us that, hey, uh, gold right now is actually due for a potential retracement to actually retrace some of the gains that was actually seen uh, three to four weeks ago. So uh, what level we are watching on the support uh, to actually potentially see this drop is as long as 1810 key pivotal support, a uh, pivotal resistance, pardon me, 1810, key medium term pivotal resistance is not surpassed. We expect a minor drop to shape towards 1760, 1745. Potentially thereafter, we could start to see the rise of a new uh, multi-week uh, up move. So this 1760, 745 graphically is this uh, uh, former swing high of 13th of July. And also if we draw the uh, FIBO retracement taking from the low of 21st of July all the way up to last week's high, 10th of August is at the 38.2% and 50% fuel retracement. But however, if we start to see a four hour close above 1810, then we will see the continuation of this uh, a medium term or, or multi week uh, up move to actually uh, hit the next resistance level at 1846 53.